Will Bitcoin find the strength to break up here to the upside and go and fill that CME gap that everyone is watching? Also, I see the supply of Bitcoin is running very dry on the exchanges. As you can see over here, the total Bitcoin exchange balance is down 12.5% since the beginning of this year, which is massive. This is making the BTC supply more scarce. And this comes down to basic supply and demand. When the supply starts to run dry, there's usually where the demand starts picking up driving the price to the upside. Also, we have created multiple CME gaps and as you can see here on the price of Bitcoin, these two CME gaps that we filled a couple of weeks ago got filled and now we created another CME gap. Will Bitcoin find the strength to come and fill the CME gap? Also, on the price of Ethereum, you can see there's still a massive CME gap ahead which has not yet been filled where Bitcoin has already filled its large CME gap to the upside but also Ethereum has just filled its CME gap where Bitcoin, it looks like it's still lagging behind so is ethereum perhaps now showing us the way where bitcoin still needs to do a little bit of catching up let's go and analyze the price of bitcoin and go and see can bitcoin find the strength here to the upside also remember the exchanges that i do my daily trading on is down in the description under exchanges bluffin no kyc required larger sign up bonus go sign up and come trade with me it only takes a couple of minutes Looking at Bitcoin here on the one hour time frame, the one level that is really important that we need to stay above for bullish continuation is this value area range that I've pulled during this consolidation area over here. You can see where Bitcoin price is consolidating or struggling at the moment. We do have some green volume that's kicked in and we have broken above. Now what you would like to see is for price to hold this level for potential breakout here to the upside, keeping an eye this trend over here and also that CME gap that I've just highlighted that could potentially get filled. Also from a range high and a range low perspective that I always highlight during my live streams, we have formed a range low over here and we have tapped this line multiple times which increases the probabilities of coming to fill the inefficiency over here so i would definitely if we do have a successful breakout here to the upside be keeping an eye on the 61 or 62 thousand dollar level for potential rejection back to the downside what is also interesting about this level is that when i take a fib here from the highs the recent highs that we've made to the recent low that we've made you can also see that this inefficiency over here has more or less confluence between the 50 percent and 618 level so if you do attempt a long year to the upside definitely an area that i will be keeping in mind for potential profit taking area but there's always the possibility for us to come and claim the high yet again because still when you look at bitcoin year on the four hour time frame okay we are still making higher highs and higher lows as per the structure that I've highlighted yesterday. We have a low, we have a high, we have a higher low, we have a higher high and this could be the formation of yet again a higher low where we could find the momentum here to the upside to go and make yet again another higher high. But as always we need to keep an eye on both sides of the coin. Okay, If we do have a successful breakout from the strength line over here I will definitely consider taking profits in this zone because you could be breaking up here, form a lower high okay, and you start changing market structure where we fall down we make yet again a lower low and this is where we start changing market structure to the downside it is unfortunately never guaranteed that when you have a successful breakout the price looks extremely bullish here to the upside that we are definitely going to claim the highs also from a shorting perspective what i'm looking at over here is that if we do not hold this point of control of this range that i've just highlighted over here OK, there is definitely still that possibility if we lose this point of control. OK, we did find support here by the value area low in confluence with the 786. When you take a FIP from the low to the high, we have found um, support here by the 786 Fibonacci. If we lose the point of control, failing to break out successfully, there's definitely a possibility that we can come and sweep the lows once again and even go and sweep the lows here by $55,000 or $56,000 where there's a lot of liquidity lying just beneath this pivot over here. So if we do lose this level, Without a successful breakout, I do see us losing the level properly and perhaps coming to find support here by $56,000. As traders, we just need to always look at both sides of the coin and have a plan for both the bullish and the bearish case scenarios. 
Then I'm also looking at ADA here at the moment. And as you can see, I, I was hoping to post this before the breakout happens here to the upside. But for now, it looks like ADA is finding the strength to move here to the upside. And I've highlighted this trade inside of our free Discord and paid Discord community. And with the paid Discord community, there's a couple of other trades that I also highlighted. But for now, ADA looks great. When I zoom into the four hour time frame, you can see that ADA has broken out of a major down sloping trend line here. Okay. It's broken broken out and this looks like a beautiful retest for continuation here to the upside. So the smaller trade that I'm watching here on the one hour time frame without being too greedy is if I take the scribble here out the way it's just for us to go and claim this high once again. But as a trader I will be paying myself on the way up and this is why I have a TP1 and a TP2 set out here to see well can ADA give us that momentum here to the upside either reject here by the 50% Fib level and go and retest the trend line once again and that that is why it's important to pay yourself as a trader or it finds the strength perhaps it creates a higher low over here and then it pierces through coming to claim the high once again and even potential higher levels here to the upside obviously this is dependent on the price of bitcoin and bitcoin needs to give us the momentum to the upside in order for these altcoin trades to play out as well Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like more detailed trading analysis on a daily basis, go check out our Legends Trading Community first link down in the description. And until the next one, cheers for now.